Kim Karam of Le Seraphim is in the news again, but not for the right reasons. We'll break this down. Stay tuned. Welcome to Current Korea. Thanks for joining us. Kim Karam of Le Seraphim is in the news again, but not for the right reasons this week. Controversy followed the debut star even before her group set out their debut album in April. Let's get started. Before their debut in April, anonymous former classmates alleged that Kim Karam harassed and bullied them in middle school. These former classmates produced pictures of old text messages as well as pictures that would put Miss Kim in an unfortunate light. The photos included pictures of Miss Kim alongside sexually explicit drawings and gestures. Text messages also included vulgar language that were aggressive to the recipients. Something to note here is that, while all of the images provided by anonymous former classmates indicate poor judgment and perhaps poor character on the part of Miss Kim, none actually proved the bullying incidents at that point. Source Music, a subsidiary of Hybe Corporation, has steadfastly denied the allegations and that Miss Kim is actually the victim in this situation and is nothing more than slander. Source Music has also stated that they will not go into details as the incidents took place when the people involved were minors, some of whom are still minors today. The second round came in May when additional information from the accusers was put out showing a report of an investigation regarding a specific bullying incident, with the outcome being reported as six hours of special education for Miss Kim and five hours of special education for the parents. The school indicated on the report has declined to comment. Source Music again refused to comment, referring back to their original statement. However, they did include that they may seek punitive damages for continued slander. Most recently, a single accuser, who may or may not have been one of the original accusers in April, has come forth with the help of Taeryeon Law Firm. The law firm iterated many of the original points but also alleged that the student is again being harassed for this current situation. They also state that the bullying investigation report was originally not released in the hopes of a civil solution. Source Music stated that Taeryeon Law Firm's statement is a unilateral statement that was published in a way to make their side look more advantageous. Source Music stated that they will release their position once their internal review of Taeryeon's claims are complete. Now, you're caught up. Beyond the controversy, Kim Garam and Le Seraphim have been on a tear since their debut in early May, setting records for sales in the first week and winning two music show awards. We'll see if the term any publicity is good publicity holds true for the ladies. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. That's what's in the news for Current Korea.